Today's cyber world is like the wild, wild west, where the good guys wear white hats and the bad guys black. As Nightbeat's Alan Martin tells us, now the white hats are in big demand and getting paid good money. In the middle of the night, around the world, hundreds of hackers sit down and get to work. Their goal? To deliberately break into computer systems and digital devices. If I can steal their sensitive information, if I can hijack their account. But don't call the cops. These are the good guys. They're called white hat hackers. All have been hired by a single Bay Area security firm to seek out and find those vulnerabilities before the black hats or the bad guys do. Jay Kaplan heads up Synac in Redwood City. The security firm is recruiting computer experts who have full-time day jobs. And they're security experts working for big companies, tech companies, security consultancies. It offers them the opportunity to make a little cash on the side by breaking into systems owned by its clients. The crowdsourcing offers a distinct advantage. I can look at things differently, which somebody from inside the company probably will launch. Another perk for the clients Hackers only get paid if they find a problem. As it causes them to have a mentality shift, to think really outside of the box and, and come up with extremely creative solutions. In just a few months, one hacker netted $30,000. I would say this is a good idea. Jung Bao is vice president of security at FireEye in Milpitas, where experts monitor a growing number of sophisticated cyber attacks. He says there's plenty of work to go around, however. They need to make sure these are the indeed you know, good people, you know, background check, skill check. Synac says it does just that, plus more. So this all goes back to our vetting process, which is really stringent. And from cars to thermostats, as everyday things become more and more connected online, the need will only grow. On the Nightbeat, I'm Alan Martin. Now, how much money they get paid depends on the flaw, but on average, it ranges from 100 to 5 thousand dollars per fine. Tesla just hired 20 hackers after someone tried to crack into its car system.